I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on polyhedrons. We'll discuss about the platonic solids now in this particular video. We'll try to figure out how many faces, vertices and edges do they have and we'll verify the Euler's formula which is faces plus vertices take away edges should be equal to 2. So as you know there are 5 platonic solids, tetrahedrons, hexahedrons, octahedron, dodecahedron and icosahedron. We'll begin one by one and then figure out how many faces do they have, how many vertices do, be, do they have and the edges and also verify the formula. Correct. So let's begin with tetrahedron. Tetrahedron is formed by four triangular faces as you can see here right so one at the base three triangles which you can see here so the number of faces here are four as far as the vertices are concerned one at the top two three and four so we have four vertices also for tetrahedron the edges you can count as one two three four five six so we have six edges you can clearly see that 4 plus 4 is 8, which is 2 more than 6. So it verifies the particular formula, which is known as Euler's formula. Correct? Now let's look into hexahedron. Now here, we have hexa means what? Hexa means 4, a 6, right? So hexa means 6 faces. So therefore, it has 6 faces, front, back, left side and right side, top and bottom, right? What is this? What we have here is these are all 3D figures, correct? So as you can see here, 4 on the top and 4 in the bottom. So that becomes total of 8 vertices and the edges are 4 top, 4 bottom and 4 joining them, right? So we have 12 the edges. If you add these two, what do you get? you do get 14 right so so if you add these two we get 14 which is 2 more than 12 right in the first case also when we add them we get 8 which is 2 more than 6 right so it works now octahedron you can see that an octahedron has triangular faces how many do we have one two three four on the top and four in the bottom so that makes it eight triangular faces now with these triangular first faces we see that four faces meet at a vertex correct let's count the vertexes now so one at the top two three four five and one here we have six of them right so so we have six vertices so one two three four in the center one at the top and one at the bottom that gives you six vertices the edges here are so we have one two three four four going up and four going down right so that means four times three is twelve right now again you can see that eight plus six is fourteen and difference is two right so we do see that if from these numbers we take away the number 6, we do get 2, right? In this case, if I take away 12, we do get 2. And in this case also, if I take away 12, I do get 2. So, all three of them, we have verified that the Euler's formula works for them. Now, let's look into the more complicated platonic solids. Now, here... Dodecahedron, we have pentagonal faces, right? So you can see the top portion, so which we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and we have six on the other side, right? So that makes it 12 faces, correct? 12 faces. Now, as far as the vertices are concerned, so let's count the vertices here one by one. So we have one, two, uh, sorry, I missed this one. So it's a pentagon, right? So one, two, three, 
4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now, this is common to both the edges, right? 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then again, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 on the back side, correct? So, we do have 20 vertices. As far the edges are concerned, so, so these edges double up. So, let's count these edges one by one. Let me take a different ink now. So, the edges. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And 10 on the other side makes it 20. And then we have 10 of these, right? So, that makes it 30 edges. Do you see that? So, we have 30 edges. Now, if I combine faces and vertices, I do get 32. And 32 take away 30 again gives us 2. So, the Euler's formula is verified here again. Correct? Now, let's look into icosahedron. Now, here we have triangular faces. As you can see very clearly, we have five faces joining at a point. Correct? Let's count the number of faces in this case. How many faces do we have? So, now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and ten on the other side. Correct? So, we have twenty as the name suggests. Now, let's count the vertices, right? Now, these vertices are common, right? And which develop are right there in the center. So, which is 1, 2, 3, right? So, these three double ups, we'll count this 3 and 3 as 6, correct? So, so we have 6 vertices right there. And then 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So, we have total of 12 vertices. Now, let's count the edges. So, we know these edges are common to both the outside edges. Let's count the inside edges. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 times 2 is 24 and then 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So we have 30 of these edges. Let's combine and check what do we get. So if I add faces and vertices, I do get 32 and taking away 30 again gives us 2. So what we have done here is we have also counted the faces, vertices and edges and verified that for all the five platonic solids, Euler's formula do work. So I hope that that helps. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.